Proaelurus is largely considered to be the first true cat and the ancestor of the entire cat family. Most studies support this, placing Proaelurus as the basal member of the Felidae. One 2005 phylogeny placed it as a basal member of the Feliformia, but later studies do not support this. However, it is a likely ancestor of Sudi Luris and probably gave rise to the major felid lines. Sudi Luris originated from Eurasia and was the first cat to reach North America, when it entered the continent at about 18 million years ago ending a cat gap of 7 million years. The slender proportions of the animal, together with its short, vivarid-like legs, suggest that it may have been an agile climber of trees. Within the genus Dinophelis, several species have been identified based on fossil evidence. These species lived at different times and in different regions, showcasing the evolutionary diversity of this genus. Based on Dinophelis' likely preference of forest habitats, it has been suggested at least some species possessed a spotted or striped coat. Several sites from South Africa seem to show it may have hunted and killed Australopithecus. It is thought that the gradual disappearance of its forest environment may have contributed to Dinophelis extinction at the start of the Ice Age. Amphimacaridus was an inhabitant of woodlands and open floodplains as based on finds in Picermi in Greece, indicating it had habitat preferences similar to modern lions in many respects. It was about two meters long and probably hunted as an ambush predator. Its legs were too short to sustain a long chase, but it most likely was a good jumper. It probably used its canines to cut open the throat of its prey, severing the major arteries and possibly crushing the windpipe. Megantyrian was built like a large modern jaguar, but somewhat heavier. It may have preyed on larger artiodactyls, horses, or the young of rhinos and elephants. Despite its size, it would have also likely been scansorial and therefore able to climb trees. It used its long saber teeth to deliver a killing throat bite, severing most of the major nerves and blood vessels. While the teeth would still risk damage, the prey animal would be killed quickly enough that any struggling would be feeble at best. Smilodon was more robustly built than any extant cat, with particularly well-developed forelimbs and exceptionally long upper canine teeth. Its jaw had a bigger gape than that of modern cats, and its upper canines were slender and fragile, being adapted for precision killing. It is thought to have killed its prey by holding it still with its forelimbs and biting it, but it is unclear in what manner the bite itself was delivered. Scientists debate whether Smilodon had a social or a solitary lifestyle, analysis of modern predator behavior as well as of Smilodon's fossil remains could be construed to lend support to either view. It probably lived in closed habitats such as forests and bush, which would have provided cover for ambushing prey. The brain of Smilodon had sulcal patterns similar to modern cats, which suggests an increased complexity of the regions that control the sense of hearing, sight, and coordination of the limbs. Felid saber-tooths in general had relatively small eyes that were not as forward-facing as those of modern cats, which have good binocular vision to help them move in trees. Studies of Macaridus indicate that the cat relied predominantly on its neck muscles to make the killing bite applied to its victims. The cervical vertebrae show clear adaptations to making vertical motions in the neck and skull. There are also clear adaptations for precise movements, strength, and flexibility in the neck that show compatibility with the canine shearing bite technique that Macaridontine cats are believed to have performed. 
These adaptations are believed to have also been partial compensation in this primitive macarodont against the high percentage of canine breakages seen in the genus. The decline of Homotherium could be a result of the disappearance of large herbivorous mammals like mammoths in America at the end of the Pleistocene. In North America fossil remains of Homotherium are less abundant than those of its contemporary Smilodon. For the most part it probably inhabited higher latitudes and altitudes and therefore was likely to be well adapted to the colder conditions of the mammoth steppe environment. The reduced claws, relatively slender limbs, and sloping back all appear to be adaptations for endurance running in open habitats. Clouded leopards have long, sharp canine teeth, which they use for hunting and tearing into prey. They are also well adapted for climbing, thanks to their strong limbs and flexible ankles that allow them to descend trees headfirst. This is a behavior not commonly observed in other big cats. It uses its tail for balancing when moving in trees and is able to climb down vertical tree trunks head first. It rests in trees during the day and hunts by night on the forest floor. The clouded leopard is the first cat that genetically diverged around 6 million years ago from the common ancestor of the panthering cats. Its total population is suspected to be fewer than 10,000 mature individuals, with a decreasing population trend, and no single population numbering more than 1,000 adults. The population is threatened by large, scale deforestation and commercial poaching for the wildlife trade. Only a single fossil specimen of a Panthera blithii cranium has been found. However, evidence shows that the species has a number of features common in other Panthera species, including a frontoparietal suture located at the postorbital constriction, and an absence of an anterior bulge overhanging the infraorbital canal. Its size is thought to be on par with that of the clouded leopard. It is about 10% smaller than the snow leopard. With a body length of up to 1.80 meters and a weight of up to 160 kilograms, it is the largest cat species in the Americas and the third largest in the world. Its distinctively marked coat features pale yellow to tan-colored fur covered by spots that transition to rosettes on the sides, although a melanistic black coat appears in some individuals. Its powerful bite allows it to pierce the carapaces of turtles and tortoises, and to employ an unusual killing method, it bites directly through the skull of mammalian prey between the ears to deliver a fatal blow to the brain. It inhabits a variety of forested and open terrains, but its preferred habitat is tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forest, wetlands, and wooded regions. It is adept at swimming and is largely a solitary, opportunistic, stock and ambush apex predator. As a keystone species, it plays an important role in stabilizing ecosystems and in regulating prey populations. Leopards are skilled and adaptable hunters. They have a broad diet that includes a variety of prey species. They are known for their ability to carry prey much larger than themselves up into trees to avoid scavengers and other predators. They are primarily solitary animals, except during mating and when females are raising their cubs. They sometimes come into conflict with humans when they prey on livestock or venture into human settlements. The impact of trophy hunting on populations is unclear, but may have impacts at the demographic and population level, especially when females are shot. Males and females with cubs were more active at night than solitary females. The highest rates of daytime activity were recorded for leopards using thorn thickets during the wet season, when impala also used them. Leopards are generally most active between sunset and sunrise, and kill more prey at this time. Like other leopard subspecies, Amur leopards are solitary, unless females have offspring. Records from camera traps indicate that they are more diurnal than nocturnal, as well as crepuscular during both the summer and winter seasons. This activity pattern coincides with activity periods of prey species. 
it is threatened by poaching of both individuals and prey species, habitat loss and deforestation. Its natural habitat is threatened by forest fires and construction of new roads. Due to the small number of reproducing Amur leopards in the wild, the gene pool has such low genetic diversity that the population is at risk from inbreeding depression. Despite its name American lion, Panthera atrox is not directly related to the lions. It belongs to a different evolutionary lineage and is considered a separate species. It is estimated to have been one of the largest felids in history, even larger than the modern African lion. It had a robust build, powerful limbs and a skull adapted for a carnivorous lifestyle. However, its exact appearance can vary based on the interpretation of fossil evidence. Based on its size and anatomical features, it's believed that it was a top predator in its ecosystem. Eurasian cave lion is believed to have been similar in size to modern lions, with a robust build and a thick coat of fur suited for the colder Pleistocene climate. Its exact appearance and coat color can vary based on interpretations of fossil evidence. Its common name suggests that these lions lived in caves, but they likely used caves as shelter and for denning rather than as their primary habitat. It is considered closely related to the modern lion, and the two species likely shared a common ancestor. However, they are separate evolutionary lineages and adapted to different environments. The lion has a muscular, broad-chested body and a hairy tuft at the end of its tail. It is sexually dimorphic, adult male lions are larger than females and have a prominent mane. Unlike most felids, it is a social species, forming groups called prides. Groups of female lions usually hunt together, preying mostly on large ungulates. The lion is an apex and keystone predator, although some lions scavenge when opportunities occur and have been known to hunt humans, lions typically do not actively seek out and prey on humans. It is usually more diurnal than other wild cats, but when persecuted, it adapts to being active at night and at twilight. During the Neolithic period, the lion ranged throughout Africa and Eurasia from Southeast Europe to India, but it has been reduced to fragmented populations in Sub-Saharan Africa and one population in Western India. It has been listed as vulnerable since 1996 because populations in African countries have declined by about 43% since the early 1990. Although the cause of the decline is not fully understood, habitat loss and conflicts with humans are the greatest causes for concern. Lions may live 12 to 17 years. Although adult lions have no natural predators, evidence suggests most die violently from attacks by humans or other lions. They lions often inflict serious injuries on members of other prides they encounter in territorial disputes or members of the home pride when fighting at a kill. Snow leopards are adapted to living in high-altitude environments, including the rugged mountain ranges of Central Asia. They are solitary and elusive animals. They are highly adapted for their mountainous habitats, being excellent climbers and capable of leaping long distances. Their large, furry paws act as natural snowshoes, allowing them to move stealthily through deep snow. Major threats to the population include poaching and illegal trade of its skins and body parts. Greenhouse gas emissions will likely cause a shift of the tree lean in the Himalayas and a shrinking of the alpine zone, which may reduce snow leopard habitat by an estimate 30%. Where they prey on domestic livestock, they are subject to human-wildlife conflict. The loss of natural prey due to overgrazing by livestock, poaching, and defense of livestock are the major drivers for the ever-decreasing snow leopard population. The Javan tiger was a Panthera tigris sandaica population native to the Indonesian island of Java until the mid-70s. 
It was hunted to extinction, and its natural habitat converted for agricultural land use and infrastructure. It was one of the three tiger populations in the Sunda Islands. It was small compared to other subspecies of the Asian mainland. It usually had long and thin stripes, which were slightly more numerous than those of the Sumatran tiger. Bounties for hunting the Javan tiger were issued in the 1830s. Around 1850, people living in rural areas considered it a plague. The killing of tigers increased at the beginning of the 20th century when 28 million people lived in Java and the production of rice was insufficient to adequately supply the growing human population. Within 15 years, 150% more land was cleared for rice fields. In 1938, natural forest covered 23% of the island. By 1975, only 8% of the forest remained, and the human population had increased to 85 million people. In 2005, there were around 350 adult and sub-adult Siberian tigers in this region, with a breeding adult population of about 250 individuals. The population had been stable for more than a decade because of intensive conservation efforts, but partial surveys conducted after 2005 indicate that the Russian tiger population was declining. They are among the largest felids in the world. They can weigh up to 400 kilograms and reach lengths of up to 3, 5 meters from head to tail. Their thick fur and layer of fat help them withstand the harsh cold of their northern habitat. Like all tigers, Siberian tigers are solitary animals. They are skilled swimmers and are known to inhabit regions with water bodies. They have large territories that they mark with scent markings to communicate with other tigers. They play a vital role as top predators in their ecosystems. Their presence helps regulate prey populations and maintains the health and balance of the food chain. Bengal tigers are known for their beautiful coat and distinctive appearance. They have a rich orange coat with dark stripes that provide excellent camouflage in their natural habitats. They have the widest range of coat colors among all tiger subspecies. Their coat color can vary from nearly white to a deep orange red, with different individuals exhibiting different shades. Female Bengal tigers are responsible for raising and protecting their cubs. Cubs stay with their mother until they are about 18 to 24 months old and are taught essential hunting and survival skills during this time. India is home to several tiger sanctuaries and national parks, where visitors have a chance to see Bengal tigers in their natural habitat. They are excellent swimmers and are known to swim across rivers and lakes in pursuit of prey. They are also known to relax and cool off in water bodies during hot weather. The exact number of wild Bengal tigers is difficult to determine due to their elusive nature. However, it is estimated that there are around 2,500 to 300 Bengal tigers remaining in the wild. The secretive and nocturnal behavior of the bay cat, and possibly the low population density, may be an important cause for the rarity of sightings. Nothing is known about its feeding ecology, but judging where it live, we assume it catch fish and small prey. It is forest-dependent and increasingly threatened by habitat destruction following deforestation in Borneo. Habitat loss due to commercial logging and conversion to oil palm plantations pose the greatest threat to the bay cat. An alert, the jaguarundi is typically solitary or forms pairs in the wild, though captive individuals are more gregarious. Unlike other sympatric cats, it is more active during the day and hunts mainly during daytime and evening hours. Individuals live in large home ranges, and are sparsely distributed within a region. The jaguarundi is an efficient climber, but typically prefers hunting on ground. It feeds on various kinds of prey, especially ground-feeding birds. The serval is known for its distinctive appearance, characterized by its long legs. Its front legs are actually longer than its hind legs, which gives it a unique and efficient leaping ability when hunting. 
They are remarkable jumpers and can leap up to 3 meters in the air to catch birds or rodents in mid-flight. This ability is facilitated by their long legs and powerful muscles. Its large, rounded ears are its most distinguishing feature. These ears are not only used for acute hearing but also for locating prey. They can hear the sounds of small animals moving in grass or undergrowth from a considerable distance. Unlike many other wild cat species, servals are quite comfortable in water. They have been observed wading in shallow water and swimming to catch prey. One of the most notable features of the caracal is its ear tufts, which are long, black tufts of hair on the tips of its ears. These tufts are not only a distinctive visual feature but also enhance their hearing by helping funnel sounds toward their ears. They are known for their stealthy hunting techniques. They often stalk their prey before launching surprise attacks. Their ability to leap high in the air also helps them catch birds roosting in trees. The caracal's ability to be trained for hunting purposes has led to speculation about their potential domestication in history. In some cultures, caracals have been used as hunting companions for capturing small game. They are solitary animals, with males and females coming together primarily for mating. The pampas cat is named after the pampas, but occurs in grassland, shrubland and dry forest at elevations up to 5,000 meters little is known about its hunting and breeding habits. It is thought to prey mainly on small mammals and birds. Guinea pigs are thought to form a large part of its diet. Though some have suggested it is chiefly nocturnal, others suggest it is mainly diurnal. Jeffrey's cats have been observed to stand up on their hind legs to scan the surrounding landscape and use their tail as a support, an unusual behavior among cats. It is able to climb trees but rarely does, except to leave feces to scent mark its territory. It is at the top of the food chain in its range and preys primarily on rodents and other small mammals. It is listed as least concern because it is widespread and abundant over most of its range. The ocelot is efficient at climbing, leaping, and swimming. It prefers areas close to water sources with dense vegetation cover and high prey availability. Both sexes become sexually mature at around two years of age and can breed throughout the year, peak mating season varies geographically. After a gestation period of two to three months the female gives birth to a litter of one to three kittens. They stay with their mother for up to two years, after which they leave to establish their own home ranges. The population density of ocelots has been observed to be high in areas with high rainfall, but tends to decrease with increasing latitude, highest densities have been recorded in the tropics. Canada lynx is characterized by its long, dense fur, triangular ears with black tufts at the tips, and broad, snowshoe-like paws. A specialist predator, it depends heavily on the snowshoe hare for food. This leads to a prey-predator cycle, as Canada lynxes respond to the cyclic rises and falls in snowshoe hare populations over the years in Alaska and central Canada. Its population increases with an increasing hare population, if the hare population decreases in a given area, it moves to areas with more hares and has fewer offspring. It hunts mainly around twilight, or at night when snowshoe hares tend to be active. The lynx waits for the hare on specific trails or in ambush beds, then pounces on it and kills it by a bite on its head, throat or the nape of its neck. Eurasian lynx fur coat varies in color depending on their habitat. Lynxes from colder regions tend to have thicker fur with a more silver-gray color, while those in warmer regions might have a more reddish or brownish hue. 
They are solitary animals and establish territories that they mark with scent markings and scratch marks. These territories can range from 20 to 400 square kilometers, depending on the availability of prey. They are skilled climbers and swimmers. They are also known for their ability to jump high to catch birds or ambush prey from above. The mother takes care of her kittens for about 10 months, teaching them hunting skills before they become independent. Cheetahs are known for their incredible speed, capable of reaching speeds of up to 120 km per hour in short bursts covering distances of around 500 meters they can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just a few seconds. They have unique adaptations for their high-speed lifestyle. They have slender bodies, non-retractable claws, and large nasal passages that facilitate rapid agile and could act as camouflage from attacks by these badgers or predators that tend to avoid them. Maracinonyx was endemic to North America from the Pleistocene epoch and morphologically similar to the modern cheetah, although its apparent similar ecological niches have been considered questionable due to anatomical morphologies of the former that would have crippled any ability to run as fast. But despite the resemblance, this American cheetah was actually a much closer relative of the cougar, and its cheetah-like anatomy was a striking example of convergent evolution. Pumas are opportunistic predators and have a diverse diet that includes deer, smaller mammals like rabbits and rodents, as well as larger prey such as elk and even livestock in some areas. They are primarily solitary animals, except during mating and when females are raising their cubs. They establish large territories that they mark with scent markings to communicate with other pumas. Unlike some other big cat species, pumas do not roar. Instead, they communicate using a range of vocalizations, including hisses, growls and screams. Pumas are known for their distinctive, eerie-sounding screams that are often heard during mating season. They are skilled climbers and swimmers. They are also known for their powerful leaping ability, capable of jumping up to 6 meters vertically and spanning distances of up to 12 meters horizontally. Palisa's cat is well camouflaged and adapted to the cold continental climate in its native range, which receives little rainfall and experiences a wide range of temperatures. It inhabits rocky montane grasslands and shrublands, where the snow cover is below 15 to 20 centimeters it finds shelter in rock crevices and burrows, and preys foremost on lagomorphs and rodents. Some population units are threatened by poaching, prey base decline due to rodent control programs, and habitat fragmentation as a result of mining and infrastructure projects. It is featured in a Russian internet meme known as Pet the Cat introduced in 2008. It is typically an image macro with a picture of an unfriendly and stern-looking palace's cat accompanied by a caption in which the cat invites the reader to pet it. Leopard cats are agile climbers and quite arboreal in their habits. They rest in trees, but also hide in dense thorny undergrowth on the ground. There, it feed on a large proportion of rats compared to forested areas. They can swim, but seldom do so. They produce a similar range of vocalizations to the domestic cat. Fossil remains of leopard cats were excavated at Neolithic villages in central China in 2001. Radiometric dating of these bones showed that they are at least 5,000 years old. These findings indicate that the leopard cat was a human commensal or domesticated in Neolithic China. The first black-footed cat known to science was discovered in the northern Karoo of South Africa and described in 1824. It is endemic to the arid steppes and grassland savannas of southern Africa. Due to its restricted distribution, it has been listed as a vulnerable. 
the population is suspected to be declining due to poaching of prey species for human consumption as bush meat, persecution, traffic accidents, and predation by herding dogs. It has been studied using radio telemetry since 1993. This research allowed direct observation of its behavior in its natural habitat. It usually rests in burrows during the day and hunts at night. It moves between 5 and 16 kilometers on average in search of small rodents and birds. It feeds on 40 different vertebrates and kills up to 14 small animals per night. The African wildcat is considered one of the ancestors of the domestic cat. Their genetic makeup contributed to the domestication of cats, and they share a common ancestor with today's domesticated felines. The domestication of cats is thought to have occurred around 9,000 years ago in the Near East. African wildcats were likely attracted to human settlements due to the presence of rodents and, over time, a mutual relationship developed. They play an important role in controlling rodent populations, which helps maintain the balance of ecosystems and reduce damage to crops and stored food. African wildcats have held cultural significance in some societies, with mentions in folklore, stories, and art. <laughs>